starts now. Good evening, everyone. We begin tonight with IT Mate. The investigation into the IMPD sergeant caught with child pornography is only beginning, according to the Marion County prosecutor. IT Mate's Cody Fisher sat down with Ryan Mears to find out what that means for the case. A judge read through the 14 charges against Javid Richards in Marion County Court today. The Marion County prosecutor, Ryan Mears, tells me that the number of charges could grow depending on what they uncover in their investigation. This was a preliminary review of the phone. We didn't do the, the deep dive uh, into the phone. We didn't do the deep dive into the laptop computers. And so those are all things that we need to go through to get a better sense of what the true scope of everything is. Police say Richards was caught trading child porn videos and images at home with others through the messaging app Kick. Ryan Mears says law enforcement caught a break in this investigation, which ultimately led to Richards' arrest. So you had an individual who was using encrypted emails, encrypted apps, using the VPN to, to disguise or, or conceal their presence on the internet effectively. Uh, and at some point in time, for whatever reason, it went from the VPN to the home Wi-Fi spot. If he hadn't gotten kicked off of the VPN for whatever reason and was on his home Wi-Fi, would we be sitting here right now? It's very unlikely. Uh, it, it, it really, it's, it's incredibly unlikely. And, and I think that points to the challenges that people in law enforcement deal with every day in trying to build these cases. The investigation by the prosecutor's office will try to find out the identity of the people Richards sent child porn to on the messaging app Kick. If they can, they'll tell law enforcement in that area so they can arrest those people. Right now, Richards has paid his $4,000 bond, but he won't be released from jail until he turns over his passports and his four guns. For IT Made, I'm Cody Fisher for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook for updates.